so good evening everyone so i am nive and I'm a, i am a final year mechanical engineering student at tkm college of engineering kollam so in this video i am going to demonstrate the working of my attendance chat board and the attend uh, this attendance chat board can be used in our schools for marking attendance in the schools and which actually can replace the manual attendance entering process so let's say uh let's go how it virtually works so let's say say uh let's say we are entering let's say hey so now it says welcome to attendance chat board and now it is asking to enter the name and code of the faculty so actually i have this is actually a login uh area to our chat board where every class teacher is assigned with a particular code and using that code only he can enter to assign the attendance of that particular class so i can show you the uh, teacher register where all the codes actually are being stored so you can see here this is a faculty name and this is a corresponding class to which they are assigned and their particular code okay so now uh, let's say we enter the faculty charles and his code let's say charles 2004 So now our workflow will run, and we'll check whether th there is any person named Charles or and his corresponding code. So if it is, uh, if it is found, then it will say, uh, it now it has say like log successfully. Now it asks to enter the roll number of absentees. So now just uh, let's say we enter the roll number as one comma two comma let's say five. These are the roll numbers of absentees. Of, of let's say because Charles is assigned to class first A, so these are the roll numbers. Roll numbers of absentees of class first A. So it's working. Now you can show that attend. It shows that attendance is marked for the day. To check that, let's say we go to the students register. So we can see here is that this register is maintained in a month-wise manner. Uh, so uh, since uh, here we are not entering the date etc in chat board because whenever you are entering the attendance, automatically the current day, month, and year are automatically assigned. So there is no need to add it uh, in the chat board as an input. So since the current month is May, I go there and you can check. This is the register of student register of a particular class first a here you can see that in the excel workbook each sheet corresponds to each class and this actually each sheet actually represents the student register of that particular month so now and see this top uh, numbers represent the day since the current day is let's say 20 may 22nd you can go to may 22nd and you can see here that the attendance is marked here the attendance Marked absent are roll number one, roll number two, and roll number five, which is actually be given as an input in the chat board. Now, uh, this is how actually my attendance chat would work. Now, I can show another case where if we are entering wrong credential, let me remove this uh, for entering again. Uh, let's say uh, uh, this is another case where I am demonstrating where when we are entering wrong credential. Uh, Uh, so uh, when we are entering wrong credential, is it possible to at uh, enter the attendance? So I can show you. So let's say we type it again. Let's say hey. So now it asks for entering the teacher's name and code. So now we are entering the teacher's name, but this time we are entering let's say wrong code. Since we know that the code for Charles teacher is eight thousand four, but here now we are let's say we are entering eight thousand six. What happens? You can check. Uh, it says some error had occurred. So since some error had occurred, it means that uh, it is an incorrect correction. But even though you try to enter the attendance, let's say you are entering attendance, it just happens. We can see that some values are actually 
empty for the day it means uh, here uh, the what security feature that actually i have added in my chatbot is that whenever when we are entering the teacher name and code correspondingly the class name is transferred to the uh, workflow where my student attendance is being entered since i have entered the wrong credential so no uh, value of class is assigned to my student workflow so it is not able to enter the attendance and you can check verify from the student register itself so current month is may uh, you can check that uh, for first a uh, you can see that 22nd no attendance has been entered so this is actually a security feature that actually i have used in my chatbot so this is all about my about my the working of my chatbot thank you